Hey, this is Tom Jacobs from tdjacobs.com. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and an energy worker and also a channel. And at my site, you'll find a plethora of tools to uh, help you along your process wherever you are in your astrology studies, including the new Soul Journey Soundbite database, also books and energetically programmed crystals, energy work sessions, tutoring astrology courses, channeled MP3s that'll do energy work on you as you listen, all kinds of things, including resources on Chiron. Uh, my book on Chiron and the audio course, as well as the Chiron natal report uh, that will treat your Chiron in detail. So uh, I want to put your attention on the fact that I do Chiron in a unique way. I uh, approach it as the energy antenna within your personality and psyche. So if Jupiter is the belief, hope, faith, risk function, then, uh, you know, if Venus is how you relate to other people, uh, and how you develop a sense of values and fairness and harmony with others, give, learning give and take, that part of you, then uh, Chiron is the energy antenna or the sensitizer to energy. You pick up on energetic cues in the world around you and you feel emotion in response. So um, it's a complex teaching and that's why the book and the audio course uh, are out there. And um, so I treat, I talk about wounding and healing, but I talk about, I understand them as byproducts or results of energetic sensitivity. If I can feel the pain you're feeling, what do I do? I can let it circulate, I can absorb it, let it internalize, right? Let it circulate within me and then I'm wounded, or it reminds me of that thing that hurts me so that I'm wounded, or I can try to help you uh, in, in, in whatever way I can, but I can't help myself. That's what the mythology that we've received so far in astrology teaches us. So I put your attention on the fact that uh, Chiron's first wounding is his rejection by his mother at birth. The wounding with the poisoned arrow that leads him to seek healing, but he can't die. He's suffering. He can't heal himself. That's a second wound. And that is a distraction that seems to teach us that death is preferable to pain and suffering. Because as a collective, we don't understand the purpose of pain. We think something's wrong with us if we experience pain. We've done it wrong. We deserve punishment. We don't understand the point of pain and suffering. It's part of the human deal is why we have it. So uh, Chiron, wherever it is in your chart, represents where you're hypersensitive to others' reactions to you. So um, the 12th house is about, uh, so you expect rejection wherever your Chiron is in your natal chart, or you have felt rejection so much you expect it. You might not feel lovable or supported. You might feel invalidated by others or by life. Uh, now the 12th house is about our connection to the cosmos, to the rest of life, the rest of the species, all life on the planet, all that kind of stuff. The planet itself, nature, um, animals, kinds of altered states of consciousness that we, we explore in order to find a sense of meaningfulness and truth so we can know that we're connected to everything. The natural impulse of this Neptunian archetype, Neptune Pisces 12th house, is to merge and surrender our individuality in order to experience a meaningfulness that we're connected, there's a reason we're here, we matter. So in the 12th house, it contains, or represents all the parts of life uh, in which we seek surrender or find ourselves needing to surrender. So our, again, our relationship to the collective and absorbing energy from faraway places and that kind of thing. What's going on in the collective may affect us as individuals through our 12th house configurations and placements. So Chiron is a marker of energetic sensitivity. We will be hypersensitive to others' reactions to you, right? But it's also a marker of uniqueness, a unique approach to things. In the 12th house, your, goal, your energy antenna is picking up stuff in the collective. You're going to be aware of the, the basically, the, I don't want to be weird about this, but the trends in woundedness the trends in what's going around as far as, you know, like the Me Too movement, the Time's Up stuff, the, all these different trends, um, um, ethnic cleansing in this part of the world and um, whatever, transgender rights in this other part of the world, you're going to have like all this awareness of a bunch of things from the collective. Now that might get overwhelming. Um, it's, you know, Neptune would be the wide satellite dish absorbing everything, but Chiron is a very pointed sense, but it's in Neptune's house. So it's a pointed energy that's actually bringing in way too many things. 
Many people with Chiron in the 12th will feel the pain that's in the heart of the collective, will pick up on issues that are in the collective unconscious, and they'll feel that pain. So energy management, that's why one of the two intro videos is about energy management, being open but not absorbing things and not carrying and internalizing pain and suffering. With Chiron in the 12th house, the call is to be compassionate toward humanity, right? But not absorb things, not take everything on. Some people with Chiron in the 12th will feel that their job is to suffer on behalf of everybody else, kind of a martyr thing. This is not what's necessary. It's not called for. It's just what looks like should happen or needs to happen because you care. You feel the suffering. Like I said earlier, what do you do if you can feel someone's pain and you don't do anything about it? So people with Chiron in the 12th can sometimes feel overwhelmed by what they're picking up on. So your, your, your awareness of what's going on in the collective is an asset if you don't pick, if you don't absorb things and internalize them and make them your own. Now, also, Chiron in the 12th can indicate a sense of feeling rejected by goddess or God or the cosmos or the collective or life itself. A sense of being disconnected, like the wound can be, I lost my connection to my spirit guides or to God or to a higher sense of truth or something like that. Um, or when I was a kid, I saw angels and they're gone and how sad that can be. Uh, and it really is. What kind of way I say it, it might you know, elicit some giggles from people, but with Chiron in the 12th, there's a sense of disconnection from the universe. Now, the sensitivity um, has a lot to do with your own ability to process emotions. So one of the things that has to happen with Chiron in the 12th is you have to heal your spiritual connection while not absorbing crap from the collective, that's the te technical term, crap. Um, so you're going to be extremely intuitive and extremely sensitive, but it will get covered over if you're overwhelmed. So energy management techniques, clearing things out, getting grounded, getting rid of energies you've absorbed over the years, um, and also healing your own spiritual connection is extremely important. You might feel personally the wounds of the collective or of groups of people who are far away. Uh, knowing that we're all connected, but that overwhelm can keep you from tapping into your own chironic resourcefulness. Because the other thing about Chiron is when we overcome our, our rejection issues that are sometimes rejection fantasies based in memories that are so painful, then when we overcome those things, then we tap into our resourcefulness, our uniqueness, and our creativity. You can not only pick up what's going on in the collective, you can also dream up unique solutions. So that's something that's behind that weight of the pain from being rejected and that sensitivity. We all must become the parents for ourselves we needed when we were kids. With Chiron in the 12th, you maybe didn't feel safe in the world. You didn't feel safe from spirits or you didn't, something about this abandonment by spirit or God. So you have to become the person for these inner kids within you who can foster a reconnection with this. Knowing that you're very vulnerable when it comes to this, and it can be very painful to feel disconnected, but um, you can become the kind of parent and adult for these inner kids who feel abandoned by spirit or God and, um, and, and heal that and reconnect uh, in different ways. If you want the full story on your Chiron and the 12, get the Chiron natal report from tdjacobs.com under natal reports, and it will go into detail with how sign and aspect and if your Chiron's retrograde, and also transits and progressions to your natal Chiron, as well as Chiron's transits to the rest of your natal chart those timing things for the, for the next year, things that are happening now that begin within the next year. That's all at tdjacobs.com. It's your time and energy. And stay tuned uh, for other videos in this series on houses and signs of Chiron.